In this video, we'll be going over how to make a simple scrub cap that uses less than a half yard of fabric. At the end of the tutorial, I'll show you how to batch cut one yard to get enough material for five caps and ties. You'll need two pieces of fabric, one six and a half by 13 and one eight by 10, both folded in half and the two pattern pieces. I've given these pieces a quick press to make it easier to trace the pattern on and to be able to easily find the midpoint of each piece. You'll also need one six inch piece of elastic. This is a half inch wide and either two 12 inch ties or one 46 inch piece of bias binding, depending on how you want to finish the cap. You have the option to finish the edge with a rolled hem and the two ties or by using the single length of bias tape to encase the seam and make the ties all at once. You have several options for the ties. You can purchase bias tape, use homemade bias tape, shoelaces, or strips of t-shirt material. I've made these two ties with one and a half inch strips of leftover fabric folded over the same way I would make bias tape. Start by tracing the two pattern pieces and cutting them out. You'll notice that the pattern says to cut a half inch from the fold. We wanted this to be able to be printed on regular printer paper but found that the fit was better if it was a little bit larger. There are also two options for the length of the side piece. If you want to finish your mask with the bias binding tape, cut the smaller size. I'm cutting for the rolled edge, so I'm using the slightly larger size. Adjusting the size here is completely optional and is based on your own personal fit. Once cut, line up the two pieces at the midpoint and pin them together. Make sure that you're lining up the curved edge of the side piece to the top. Pin the two pieces together, keeping the edges as close together as possible. I'm usually pretty lazy about pinning, but sewing curved pieces together can be tricky, so I find it helpful to pin every inch or so. Next, stitch around the pin seam with a straight stitch and then go back and finish with a zigzag to prevent fraying. If your machine has an overcast stitch, this is a great application for it. When you're done, the three pieces should make a reasonably straight line at the back. It's okay if it's not perfect here. Next, we'll sew in the elastic. Start about a half inch from the edge and start to zigzag. I've got my stitch set to four here. As you sew, stretch the elastic and it will start to gather the fabric. Stop about a half inch from the other side. Next, fold the elastic over and zigzag again, making sure you're still stretching the elastic as you go. This encloses the elastic and the zigzagging will prevent fraying. Now it's time to either stitch your ties and roll the hem to finish or attach your bias binding. I'll show you the rolled hem first and then the bias binding. Take one of your ties, place it at the end of the fabric and roll the edge over on itself about quarter of an inch and start to stitch it in place. I like to start going back and forth with a zigzag to really hold the tie in place and then switch over to a straight stitch for the rest of the hem. Continue to roll the edge over and stitch along the entire edge. When you get around to the other side, insert the other tie in the same way and zigzag to secure it. Trim all the thread pieces and you've got a finished cap. For the binding tape version, pin the midpoint of the binding to the back center of the cap and pin along the edge. Stitch the tape to the edge of the cap. Then start at one end of the tape and stitch along the entire length, folding it over the edge of the cap. You've now got a completed cap. 
Next, I'm going to show you how to batch cut one yard of fabric to get enough pieces for five caps and ties. Start with one yard of fabric with the two selvage edges folded together. Cut at 23 and again at 33 inches. Set the last piece aside for making ties or binding tape later. You now have one 23 inch piece and one 10 inch piece. Remove the selvage edges from both pieces. Next, cut the larger piece into six and a half inch strips. You should end up with five six and a half inch pieces and a piece of leftover that you can cut into one and a half or two inch strips to make ties. Now cut the smaller pieces into five eight by 10 pieces. You should now have all the pieces you need to make five caps and ties with very little waste.